Welcome to another video on Powerlines Pro. Here we will demonstrate the powerful import functionality of the application. Powerlines Pro can import a variety of terrain specification data, pole location data, and image overlays from AutoCAD DXF files. This functionality is accessed by opening the file menu and selecting the import from DXF option. This will open a pop-up where you can select the file to import from and specify the format of the data being imported. Let us go through several example import scenarios. The simplest form of terrain data we can import is a profile change of terrain elevations. This data is a series of lines with XY coordinates for the vertices. The X coordinate representing the distance along the change and the Y representing the elevation. To import this type of file, select the file, choose profile for the type of data, tick terrain and select height strips as the elevation format, and then finally click apply. The terrain height data will be imported into your current design. Next, let us import a file containing 3D terrain elevation data in the form of a series of polylines. Each vertex in this case will have the X and Y coordinates representing the location and Z representing the elevation of the terrain at that point. To import this, we follow the same steps as before, except we select 3D as the type of the data. The next method of importing terrain is to load a terrain contour file. In this case, the DXF file contains contour lines, specifying the terrain elevation layout. Follow the same steps as before, except this time we select topographic contours as the terrain type in the terrain dropdown. In addition to importing terrain elevation data, Powerlines Pro can import a lot subdivision and other GIS data as textured overlays over the terrain. To do this, open the import menu, select the DXF file and tick the overlay option. When you click apply, the design in the DXF file will be used to generate an overlay texture to display over the terrain. Finally, many GIS CAD files contain not only lot subdivision and road data, but also the locations of existing poles. Powerlines Pro can import these poles into your design as well. To do this, follow the previous steps, but additionally tick the poles option in the import pop-up. Here you will need to type the names of the blocks that represent poles in the DXF file. Click apply and the poles will be imported into your design. This concludes the introduction to importing design data in Powerlines Pro.